welcome back to Bible class. I'm excited about our lesson this week and glad that we can share and continue our study in the book of Mark. I brought with me this week a transformer. I know that a lot of you have seen the cartoons or the movies. Maybe you have a lot of these toys in your home. And we think about a transformer. Do you know what a transformer does? You can twist them and bend them and they go from this mighty robot into a car or a truck of some sort. But what about the word transform? Do you know what that word actually means? It means to change. It's going from one form to another. This is just a, te a really cheap, you know, Happy Meal toy, so it actually doesn't change. But when we think about our faith, when we think about our lives as Christians, we want to compare it to the Transformers simply because we have to transform our lives. So in the book of Mark, we continue reading in chapter 8. And we read about Peter confessing that Jesus is the Christ. He fully believes it. He understands things now. We read about that. And he understands, you're not the same as John the Baptist. You're not the same as Elijah. You are totally different. You are the Christ. He gets it. And because of that, he has to transform his life. He changes. We also, in chapter 8, get to read and learn about Jesus predicting his death and his resurrection. Because of his prediction and what goes on, it changes the perspective of his apostles. It changes the way they think about one another. It transforms who they are. They have a new understanding of Jesus' purpose. He's here to come and teach. And then he tells them, somebody's going to betray me. I'm going to hang on the cross and die. But I will return. Jesus predicts all of that. And because of that, it changes the lives of these men. It transforms what they know and who they are. But I want to focus today in this lesson about one of the greatest transformations that we read about in the Bible. And you can kind of see behind me the connection of what's going to um, happen in this little session we have. I'm going to start reading from Mark chapter 9. And after six days... Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became radiant, intensely white, as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. And Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. For he did not know what to say, for they were terrified. And a cloud overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. And suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone with them, but Jesus only. Now, we have labeled this from the Bible as the transfiguration because the Bible uses the word, he was transfigured. But going back to that root, trans, it changes. That's what the word trans means. It's, it's changing, it's connecting, moving from here to there. This is 
a huge and pivotal point in the lives of Peter, James, and John because they witnessed this. Let's look back. It says he was transfigured before them. His clothes became radiant, intensely white, as no one on earth could bleach them. Behind me, we see images in white. The white was so bright, it was like light coming from him. It was coming from inside of him. And the apostles got to witness this. But for, for Peter, James, and John, it's what they saw on the outside. God because of his power, his love for everyone on earth, he transfigured Jesus and turned him into this radiant, bright, white light because he wanted them to see that change comes from within. It comes from inside of us. We see changes on the outside and we often make changes to ourselves. Um, Miss Andrea used to color her hair, and now you can see I've got a lot of gray. I quit doing that. Um, women wear makeup. We often talk about, I want to start losing weight. I want to go to the gym and build up my muscles. We work on things to transform our physical bodies. And while that's great to get healthy, it's not what's important. The Bible is telling us in these examples that we have to transform our heart. We have to transform what comes from within. You might hear people say, oh, you let your light shine, you know, keep shining your light. We sing, shine, Jesus, shine, and we talk about how the light's within us. But that's because of this story, because of this scripture. We talk about how we change from within. When you get baptized, you make a change. You make a commitment. You're saying, I don't want to be like this anymore. I don't want to live like this anymore. I want to do and be better. And we have to work to transform our daily lives. It's not the same as eating more fruit and vegetables. It's not the same as going to the gym and working out. Because we have to stop and really think, what is it that I need to do to show my love for Christ? To show my commitment to God, to my fellow Christians? So we have to stop and think about how we can transform our hearts. We have to think about what are the needs of the people I love and care about? What are the needs of people that I don't know? How can I help them? How can I share with them? How can I show them the love of Christ? When we transform, we change. And that's what we need to do as Christians. That's what Jesus is sharing with us in this passage from Mark chapter 9. Our lives are to be transformed. Not our physical bodies, but our hearts. We need to think about what am I doing as a Christian to be an example to other people? And as we say, how am I shining my light? How do I see the light in other people? Does that mean that they are literally glowing? Absolutely not. That means that even though we can't physically see their heart and their mind, it's through their actions. So when you go out this week to school, when you visit family or friends, maybe you're at the store, how can you shine your light? How can people see your heart and your mind through your actions? How are you transformed or changed because of the love of Christ? Keep that in mind this week. I want to encourage you to read your Bible. You can read more. Um, examples and things that happen in Mark chapter 9 on your own. But for this week, I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye guys!